Singapore is often seen as a modern utopia, with its gleaming skyscrapers and ultra-efficient transport system. But beneath the surface of this small nation lies a darker side, one that is not often discussed in polite company. From rising costs of living to stifling censorship laws, Singapore has become something of a parody of what it means to live in the 21st century. Before you become seduced by the allure of the city-state, take a few minutes to understand what really lies beneath its glistening facade. Let's take a look at some of the darker aspects of life in Singapore, starting with censorship concerns. The government's heavy-handed approach to regulation has put a damper on creativity and expression, with music, films, and books deemed too offensive or controversial by officials facing strict censorship. Culture latently suffers, with reform in progress stifled by an all-seeing eye. Efficiency is put first in the development of a rich and diverse culture. Although the economy may benefit, creativity is on the decline, and a dreadful sense of sameness pervades the country. Only government-approved content can be seen, heard, and read. POFMA, Protection from Online Falsehoods and Manipulation Act, is an act created by Singapore's government to target online falsehoods that have been known to spread rapidly. The censorship level of this act is intense, prohibiting any false content or news even if it's not maliciously intended. This act has raised a lot of concerns from citizens in Singapore, as some say it's too strict and is infringing on their freedom of speech. This lack of freedom of speech is mirrored in other aspects of life as well. Singapore's costly rent is making life increasingly unaffordable for those of lower incomes. Even a small flat is beyond the reach of many young professionals, with prices rising faster than wages can keep up. This dread of gentrification and income inequality cause many to worry that Singapore will become an oversaturated playground for the wealthy. This led to the contribution of a poor work-life balance to make ends meet. The culture of overworking is rampant in Singapore, with long hours and low pay becoming the norm. This makes it difficult for individuals to find time to build meaningful relationships or maintain their mental wellness. If 9 to 5 is already too much, Imagine spending your evenings in the office as well. Receiving a better education might help residents gain better status and income, but that is not quite feasible for most. The cost of education in Singapore is exponentially rising, and with less and less financial aid available, the dream of attaining a good education has become a distant one. If this wasn't bad enough, the cost of personal vehicle ownership is one of the highest in the world leaving those who can't afford it stranded. Taxes are implemented to discourage car ownership, leading to a permanent state of gridlock. On top of that, pedestrian safety isn't up to global standards, with the infrastructure often failing to provide adequate protection for those on foot. It's a lose-lose situation for many. If you were to get in an accident in Singapore, don't expect to get through your medical bills with ease. Uninsured individuals may find themselves paying a higher cost for equivalent quality of care compared to local residents. Healthcare is always something to consider, whether you're moving abroad or just visiting. Even wellness through nutrition is not always affordable in Singapore, as groceries can be quite expensive. For Western home front foods, expect to pay double, even triple the normal price. Although wet markets may present better deals, they can be difficult to navigate as a foreigner. The overall environment of the wet markets can also be quite intimidating. Singapore is also infamous for its punishing nanny state policies, which are designed to discourage unhealthy habits such as drinking and smoking, but some feel that they infringe on personal freedom. Even chewing gum is prohibited, with offenders facing a hefty fine. At the airport, both local and international visitors are subject to random drug tests with severe consequences including the possibility of the death penalty for those found guilty. This is something you can't ignore. Party lovers and extroverts may not feel comfortable in Singapore. From high taxes on alcohol and cigarettes to a culture of small social circles, Singapore is not the kind of place you would want to go if you're looking for a wild night out. The geographical nature of Singapore is also quite small in size. From a lack of expressional freedom to physical limitations, Singapore's nightlife is nothing to write home about. Other countries such as Thailand or Vietnam provide a much more exciting scene both day and night. With festivals and night markets and a lively music scene, 
these countries offer far more than Singapore can provide. You'll also feel less restrictive as a creative or party lover because of the lack of censorship and lower costs. If sunshine is something that you require, Singapore may not be the best place to stay. The city experiences heavy monsoons and unpredictable weather conditions all year round, which can make outdoor activities difficult. You better have an umbrella handy at all times. Thunderstorms and high levels of heat might make outdoor activities nearly impossible. Although navigation isn't impossible with the added high cost of private vehicle ownership, the only way to get around is by public transport, which can be quite dreary. So, Singapore is not the utopian paradise it's often made out to be. Behind its clean streets and modern skyline lies a darker side that reveals the parody of life in the 21st century. It's worth understanding these issues before you make your move, otherwise you may find yourself trapped in an unfamiliar dystopia. To sum up, Singapore falls short of those who value freedom of expression and creativity. Its costly living conditions are also a deterrent, with rent inflating faster than wages can keep up. With a shortage of open spaces to roam and an overbearing government presence, Singapore may not be the place for those who don't prioritize stability but prefer adventure. Remember, don't let the propaganda fool you. Like and subscribe to ensure that you're always up to date with the truth, even if it's not the most pleasant.